also the squad back with another video. I see you in the title was going down. Make sure y'all go check out Doug and XL down below. Let's get this video, y'all. We've covered the big picture stuff on the Alvin Bragg slash Juan Merchon uh, corrupt trial with uh, Trump and Stormy Daniels. But now we have backfill to do with uh, lots of Trump-friendly lawyers coming out in his defense and offering new details that I haven't presented to you yet. So welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. I try and make news every day, a little bit of entertainment, and a little bit of getting you caught up on the bigger ideas and the bigger uh, reasons why Trump uh, is going to have to defeat New, New York, not not in court, but at the ballot box. Let's watch. Would you go from felonies to misdemeanors, and what would that mean for Trump? Yeah, you can always ask for a lesser included charge, but Harris, speaking of misdemeanors, this case really started out as a, a minor bookkeeping misdemeanor that the statute of limitations should have run on years ago. And this trial should sound familiar to the E. Jean Carroll uh, trial where the statute of limitations was magically removed. They said, oh, because of COVID, we couldn't address this. So we had to put it off uh, in this case. And then Alvin Bragg digs it up, raises it from the dead illegally, specifically to go after Trump. And then those are normal charges that would be a misdemeanor. And he raised them up to felony charges, uh, even as he has criminals in New York who go from felony charges, he reduces them down to misdemeanors all the time. By the way, this is uh, one of our favorites, Phil Holloway. He's here on YouTube that we love quoting. But it's Alvin mm. Bragg who is the one that, in my, in my opinion, is being dishonest because he's taking this misdemeanor and he's bootstrapped you know, federal election law and trying to call this some type of uh, serious felony fraud, which really is just a bookkeeping issue. And by the way, speaking of fraud, it's another example of a New York prosecution going after Trump where there's no victims. There's no victim, no crime. They won't name the crime. And Phil Holloway is going to explain why that's significant. They have to name that crime. About non-disclosure agreements, they are standard. Hmm. Uh, wealthy people, uh, prominent people use them all the time. Even Fonnie Willis here in the Fulton DA's office has non-disclosure agreements with people in her office, I'm told. So they're trying to nail Trump for having a non, an alleged non-disclosure agreement with Stormy Daniels. There's still, the jury is still out on if Trump ever signed it. She signed it. We don't know if he signed it and is being held by it. But she agreed to the hush up uh, money, which it's not hush up because of, they don't like using that word, uh, Trump supporters, because hush up implies he did a crime and people mm -hmm. use hush things to, to cover up illegal things. Non-disclosure agreements. I've signed a non-disclosure agreement with every employer I've ever had. So if that's a, a crime, then guilty in Manhattan. Yeah. And I, and yeah. we were talking about this in the context of the sixth amendment and the right to be put on notice. If you're the defendant of what you're accused of. And so what Alvin Bragg has done is he said he committed this misdemeanor, and even though the statute of limitations ran, it's really a felony because he committed that misdemeanor with intent to commit another crime. And he literally says in the indictment, actually committed another crime. And he doesn't specify what that other crime is. And he does that 36 times for 36 felonies that's phil holloway with uh ashley merchant who uh y'all know why he's doing this show was the the uh, attorney against uh fonnie willis and nathan wade um and she is going to talk about how they will not say what the crime is what trump is guilty of there's no victim remember in the judge anger on trial they were going who did he bilk out of money if the banks are happy and every business person he's ever been in with, there's no crime. Well, well, Phil, that actually sounds a lot like what we have going on here in Georgia, um, where we have these indictments for making false statements, but the prosecution is refusing to tell us what the false statements are. You know, it's like, oh, they violated an oath, but we're refusing to tell you what oath was violated. Um, they made false statements, but we're refusing to say how they're false or any of that stuff. Um, it's very similar to what's going on here in, in Georgia. But what I'll say is that the only way to challenge these is pretrial. And if a judge is not willing to do something pretrial, then we end up having to go in front of a jury. And I think that's what you're seeing in New York right now, you know, where, where Trump is having to go in front of a jury because the judge wouldn't get rid of these. So they will not name the crime. Wow. So then if they say that he tried to cover up a crime, which is what triggers it to be no uh, elevated from misdemeanor, 
but they won't talk about it implies that he's guilty of a crime they've never charged him with. But it's just like Fonnie Willis also couldn't name what lie he told or what misstatement he made. Uh, the whole thing with Fannie Willis. Come on, y'all. The whole thing with that. <sighs> Don't even get me started. We're in a blue state. That's all by design. Don't get it twisted, folks. They do this intentionally, just like they're bringing the one in Washington, just like Georgia. They pick these states on purpose. They the trial is the punishment, and they know they're not going for a fair trial. That's why, as Alina Haba said, they're targeting blue states only. This wouldn't hold in a normal state unless it was bury the needle blue, which they have to have to be able to rig a jury pool and get a higher number of them and get and even get the uh, uh, everyone from the district attorney down to the judge uh, sympathetic to their ridiculous char cartoonish charges to be laughed out of any real court. But what's important with this notice and, you know, and I, I'm getting caught up, so I'm not sure you may have already talked about this, but notice, I mean, we need to know what to defend against, first of all. But second of all, it's important for double jeopardy. If you don't put what the person actually did in the indictment and then a couple years down the road, someone else wants to go and re-indict a case or bring something up. How do you know if they were already on trial for it if you don't put enough information in the indictment? I love these lawyers thinking that like the rule of law is still there as if the Democrats care at all about double jeopardy. Exactly. They're like double jeopardy, double schmepperty. That only applies to when a Democrat is uh, under double jeopardy. A Republican, we'll, we'll give it a new name and it'll be fine. Well, this is clearly an illegal un... Anything to get that man. Come on, y'all. November, y'all. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, November. Constitutional gag Good. order here. We have gag orders to protect criminal defendants who are going through the process. It is a limited... A time, place, and manner restriction to protect criminal defendants and their constitutional rights. And for these Democrat prosecutors and these Democrat judges to put a gag order on a criminal defendant is truly un-American. It is breathtaking. And of course, the go-to on the Democrats is to try and shut Trump up with a gag order. So that's just, this is them playing small ball. It's not going to work. It's entirely backfiring on them. That's the good news is. Trump's never done better. You saw him come out in, in the last video to the, the, the public in New York, and they're cheering him on. Little minority kids are going, we love Trump. We This is his campaign, guys. They didn't take him off the campaign trail. Exactly. They put his campaign trail on steroids. One thing about it, like Doug is saying, this is his campaign. But just to say, just, just to know, if he wasn't going through all of this, that it definitely got blown, blown out of there. He already doing it definitely got blown out of water. Blown out of water. Stuff that, you know, but this, like Doug has said, this is his campaign. And look how well it's going. President Trump. They ain't doing nothing but helping them. If, if there's anyone on the planet who must have the constitutional right to speak out about the judge, the prosecutor, the staff, the witnesses, the bias, it has to be a criminal defendant going through a criminal process. Uh, especially one who's campaigning as president actively. He needs to be able to defend himself to the public and say what he wants to say. They can't have that. They can. They know that they own the mainstream media and they have to control it through that media. That's why we here in alternate media are out getting you the real exactly. truth they won't tell you. I Talk hope you'll them, reward us with a subscription. Give us a like. Let us know your comments below. This is Trump territory. He's loving it. He's in his element, guys. This is where he thrives. And this is what he knew he would go through. The Democrats didn't see this when they launched all these campaigns against him. But Trump saw an opportunity. That's what brilliant businessmen do. I'm Doug. Mm. That was, that, what, what Doug said completely, that's true. I say it all the time. It's up to us to spread that out, to get that out to y'all. And I love it. I love it. I just said that. Check out the video yesterday. I love it. Much love, everybody. Thank y'all for everything. I appreciate everybody. Um, it's Rennie's birthday today. Um, I know y'all see I'm wearing the same thing from the last video y'all seen because I had to pre-record. But um, couldn't drop a, you know, couldn't get in the studio um, today because, you know, Rennie's birthday party. Having a pet in zoo. Y'all see a vlog out, most likely, on my channel or Chris's. But definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Catch y'all on the next one.